All right, good evening, uh, environmental science class. Um, welcome to this edition of Lessons from the Kitchen Sink. Uh, I'm kind of calling them that because I've been doing a lot of lessons in my kitchen sink lately for different classes. So I'm here tonight to tell you a little bit how to set up an activity called um, the the lab, the rot lab. And I'm mailing you or dropping off materials at your houses um, to help you do this. And you're gonna look at me kind of funny or think, oh, Mrs. Bernson's at it again when you get your materials because they're kind of strange. Um, it's a set of plastic bags and in the plastic bags there's zip blocks. There is a small piece of newspaper and a banana peel. <laughs> and uh, you're like, what the heck, yep. We are taking a look at decomposition of these materials over time and we're taking a look at them doing some comparisons. This is going to be the activity that's like your experiential activity um, for this nine weeks. Each nine weeks we've been doing some sort of experiential activity. This is also something that could be a lab, but I think that I'm going to treat it as like your um, experiential learning component of this nine weeks. So each of you are going to do this activity at home. I also am going to keep track of a set of bags here at my house. So if there's any problems, then you can let me know and I have a backup. And um, there is a component at the end where you're going to kind of describe your findings. And of course, this past week we've been learning about waste disposal and landfills. So this fits right in with some of the things we're doing. So um, the bags that you got, uh, I'm going to show you one here. Uh, like I said, newspaper, banana, and there's some things written on it. So the things written on it are the conditions that that bag is going to have. You do need to supply a couple of things that are uh, free at your house. And so uh, I couldn't drop off or mail all of these things, but you're going to prep this one day this week is your, um, is your lesson or activity for the day. And then um, you're going to look at it three times. And after this is all over, you, if you cannot tell, can throw these things out or compost the materials in the bags and then throw the bags out. So if um, this bag here says banana, newspaper, dark. And so this bag is absolutely ready. You want to make sure that it's sealed tightly. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put this bag with the newspaper and the banana by itself somewhere in the dark. I would say get all your dark bags, put them together, all your light bags, put them together. It does not matter outside or inside. Um, there may be a smell. So I might recommend outside. We're not necessarily taking temperature as a criteria at this point. So it's okay for them to be outside. Um, make sure they're somewhere where an animal is not going to get into them or a little sibling or something like that. Check with your parents. Make sure that it's not somewhere they're going to be like, what the heck is this? Throw, toss, burn pile. Um, so that's important. But we need one area that's exposed to light, one area that's exposed to dark. The second bag that I have is banana newspaper light. So again, this bag is ready. Make sure it's zipped up tightly and that's going to go wherever you have for the light one. All right, next bag that I have is banana soil newspaper dark. So I did bring a little soil and from my garden bed and I'm going to put the soil in the bag and I'm going to try to get soil um, on both sides of the newspaper and banana. It doesn't need to be a lot of soil, um, but mine's a little clumpy. I wish it was less clumpy. I'm still going to try to get the air out of the bag as much as possible. And I'd like the soil to break up a little bit if I can, but I don't know if it's going to. Again, would like to cover the materials with the soil because the idea is that they're mixed together. So mine is very, very clay-like. See if we can get it down there. That's pretty good. All right, so I have banana, soil, newspaper, dark. Check. That's in my dark pile. Next, I have banana, newspaper, soil, light. My soil's got some roots in it. That's 
that's okay. My soil is spilling in the sink. That's not okay. Getting the air out of my bag. That's going in the light pile. All right, our next one. Banana, newspaper, soil, water, dark. So this one we're making kind of a slurry. It's gonna have some soil and um, again, we want to add a reasonable amount of water to our bag, but uh, we're kind of making mud here. So you can see how much water I added to my bag. It's like halfway full, I'm trying to get the air out of my bag if possible. And if your newspapers are too big, just fold them over. All right. Mmm, that one's going in my dark pile. Banana, newspaper, soil, water, light. Can we sing songs about bananas while we're waiting? Uh, we can sing Gwen Stefani. Go bananas, go, go bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Oop, gotta get my water in this one. And... Get it sealed. Okay. I think I need to take a little more air out of this one so it's just the water. That one's in light. Banana, newspaper, soil, water, air, dark. Ooh. So our second to last one. In hindsight, making these videos, you know, it's like thinking of things you should have done. You should have filled half of them so the video wouldn't have taken so long. But I did not. Okay, so this one, we want our slurry, but we want to keep the air in the bag as well. So I've got my air in there. You could blow in your bag a little bit if you want to. That one's in my dark pile. And here's my last one. Banana, soil, water, air, light. So after you have done all these things, you are going to um, make a hypothesis as well. And that hypothesis, um, I'm gonna provide you with the chart that you're going to be recording your observations on. That will be on the Google class. But you do need to make a hypothesis uh, about um, some of these criteria and what you think is going to happen. And then, like I said, observe three times. And at the end, you are giving some analysis, answering some questions, and analyzing the data and how this activity went for you. So again, my recommendations are outside, probably, in case of smells, somewhere secure, one light location, one dark location, all of your light bags, Light, 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 and light will go in one location. So you'll be able to observe them. All of your dark bags, dark, dark, dark. Ooh, that one's steaming already. Dark are going to go in another location. All right, guys, please email me or let me know if you have questions. And good luck with this experience. Hopefully you learn something. It gives you something hands-on to do. And it's a nice experiential project for the semester. Have a great day. Bye.